Hello scholars, I'm so glad to have you back again. Welcome to the third trimester. This trimester is going to be fun field because we are going to have a lot of um, interesting lessons. So let's begin with the first lesson for the trimester which is God the creator and father of all. Kids, I hope you know God is our creator and is the father to everyone on earth so now i would I like you to listen carefully to this story about the creation stories of the bible creation in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth the earth was empty formless and dark but the spirit of god was there on the first day, God said, Let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, Let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place, so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, Let the water swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. And God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, Let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image, to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man, and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper, so God put man into a deep sleep. And while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs. Then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Hello. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea. Hello, Will. The birds in the sky. Hello, bird. And all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. Wow, I guess the lesson was interesting. Now, let's quickly do a recap of everything that we learned. Remember, we're talking about the creation. And we said the first day God created what? Light. So that was what God created the first day. And the second day, God created the sky. And he separated the waters from the sky. Then also, the third day, God created dry land sea plants and trees so that was what was created on the third day then now on the fourth day 
God created sun, moon, and stars, and the sun should rule the day, while the moon and the stars should rule the night. Why on the fifth day, kids, God created the creatures in water and also the beds in the hair? Now, on the sixth day, God created animals on land and also he made man in his own image and likeness while on the seventh day god rested from all his works he saw that everything that he has created was good and perfect so he rested on the seventh day and made the seventh day holy yay i hope you enjoyed this story and you learned from the story so you know the creation story now okay so this is where we end the lesson see you in my next class bye